<laughs> hey guys, how you doing? So I can explain why my hair's like this. So today I thought it'd be cool to film a hair tutorial on my hair because it's been very long overdue and so many people request on how I take care of my hair so I thought let me do it today. So my hair is like, I think it's been three days since the last time I washed it. So it's really like greasy, it's got lots and lots of product in there and it's really dry and it's very tangly as well and I haven't brushed my hair. I've literally just put up in a bun and this is what it looks like right now. Ooh, sunshine, hold on one second. And close. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. So this is like the first time I'm doing a hair care tutorial, so I do hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's begin. So today I'm going to show you how to wash your hair properly and how to protect your hair and how to blow dry your hair as well. I know it sounds very like basic, but you know what, it took me a really long time how to take care of my hair properly and I'm 23 years old and it's only been this year I figured out how to take care of my hair properly. I mean, what grown ass women not know how to take care of their hair. So I thought why not do a video and show you guys the basics and then in future I will show you guys more tutorials on how to take care of your hair as well. So just so that you guys know my hair is naturally straight and it is really long as well and I don't dye my hair anymore and I will talk about my hair story in just a bit and my hair is normal however it gets really really dry and in England it's going into winter now so my hair is going to be extremely dry so the products that I'm using is like compatible to the weather as well as to my hair. All right, all right, all right, all right. So this is a little history about my hair. Okay, so I started dyeing my hair at the age of 12, I think, or maybe 13. And I know that's really young, but when you're young, you do some really stupid things, literally. So I started to dye my hair at 12. And then when I was 17, I did something really, really, really stupid. I bleached my hair without seeking any professional help. So when I bleached my hair, I um, looked like a chicken, which is what my mom calls me. So my hair wasn't even blonde, it was like, orange like super duper duper orange and it was just funny because when I look back my mom called me a chicken and I was like you know what mom you're so right so after that experience my mom couldn't handle the way I looked so she took me to a hairdresser's <laughs> Oh, my mom. Gosh, she's so funny. She took me to the hairdressers and they dyed my hair back to black. And from the age of 17 till 19, I haven't dyed my hair, haven't done anything to my hair. I just grew it out. And at the age of 19, that was when I was in uni. And I thought, you know what? Let me experiment with my hair. So I dip dyed my hair. And instead of going, you know, ombre, brownish blonde and went on very red so I was like super duper red and you know what it was a cool time I really enjoyed having that hairstyle but I wouldn't go back to that hair color again because it was really hard to maintain so yeah that was like the last time I dyed my hair and from the age of 19 that was when I stopped doing anything to my hair so I only had like red hair dye for about six months I think and then after that I was like I give up on taking care of my hair, I give up on doing anything to my hair, I just want to grow up my hair and get all this hair dye out of my head. Did I just make any sense? I don't know, anyway. Yeah, so that was the last time I dyed my hair. I'm 23 now, so it's been four years since I've colored my hair. And between the ages of 19 till now, I've literally just been growing my hair, trimming it, growing my hair, trimming it, growing my hair and trimming it literally for the past four years and now everything on my head literally this is my virgin hair <laughs> virgin <laughs> i mean it took me a really long time i mean four years that's blooming long thank god that there are products out there that can help your hair and help maintain the health of your hair as well so this is what this video is all about this video is all about how to take care of your hair i've tried so many products <gasps> and I'd say 90% of the products I bought in the past didn't really work out for me 
Um, the 10% I was just really lucky to buy products that actually worked for me and I'm the type of girl where I like to buy affordable hair care products because mama likes to save some money and that's what I'm gonna do for you as well I'm gonna help you save some money I've tried loads of products like when I mean loads I mean like hella loads of products only this year I actually found products that work really really well for my hair and the way my hair transitioned from being dry and very like it's so weird like last year my hair was dry but then like the roots would be like really greasy it's, it's so weird my hair but ooh. but it's only this year I found products that hydrates my hair keeps it clean but doesn't keep my scalp greasy so that's an A plus for me and I can't believe it's taken me this long to find products that actually work for my hair and like I said I personally like to use affordable products and all the products is available in Boots and I'll go blah, blah, blah. I will link it down below as well that way you guys can check it out every month I like to experiment and try out different products when it comes to shampoos and conditioners however this month I am trying out the LV the Extraordinary Oil Weightless Nourishing Ritual and that is a long name to say so for the past three weeks I've been using these hair care products and I have to have to have to have to have to have to say it has really helped my hair out a lot like it proper like cleans my scalp yet it gives me a lot of hydration and nourishment in my hair without making my scalp feel greasy and it's so hard to find affordable shampoo and conditioner that can do that for you so this range is definitely something I will buy again and again and again and also I have a best friend who has curly hair so she's mixed race she's half black mixed with Latino and Chinese and she has like beautiful curly hair and I'll insert a picture of her just in case you're wondering what she looks like and I'll also put another picture of her over here as well in case you want to look at her even more <laughs> so she has like really beautiful long curly hair and she uses the same hair care range as well she says that it really helps her hair out because she's got curly hair and the curlier your hair is the more oils and the more hydration it needs to maintain the curls and she says that it works really really well for her and I thought I'd let you guys know just in case you have curly hair as well because I have straight hair and I know that straight hair obviously is completely different to curly hair it needs different care but the fact that this hair care range is able to cater to straight hair and curly hair is quite a big deal because I don't know many shampoos and conditioners that's able to actually cater to more than one hair type so I thought I'd let you guys know that <laughs> so just to let you guys know on how I managed to grow my hair super long is that you got to give your hair a lot of hydration so this El Vive collection because it's got fine coconut oil in it is able to give you that hydration that nourishment that longevity of the hydration as well because there's a lot of shampoos and conditioners is that after you wash your hair the hydration like disappears almost after like a day or two but this one it's managed to like lock in the hydration so if you're one of those people where you don't have time to wash your hair three four times a week but you need that extra hydration this collection is going to help you out so 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 much the more nourishment you put in your hair the more healthier it's going to be the more it's going to grow the more it's going to look healthy and feel healthy as well right guys so I'm I'm now going to take our relationship to the next level. You are gonna hop in the shower with me. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever say that in my whole entire life, but I've always wanted to have a shower with you guys. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing? <sighs> yeah, so I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys into the shower with me so I can show you how I actually wash my hair. I was gonna like, shampoo and condition my hair like right here in my beauty room but it's just gonna get really messy and I thought you know what may as well just take you guys into the shower with me I love you guys you love me we're all comfortable with each other and you guys know that I'm like yeah like super like I don't care type of type of girl what anyway um let's get into the shower 
Welcome to my bathroom guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is of course wet my hair and then I'm going to apply the shampoo and I'm only using a considerate amount and I'm going to apply this on the top part of my hair because that's where I have a lot of dirt and I'm going to massage the shampoo into my head and using my fingertips only and not my nails that way I don't damage my scalp. Because I have long hair, I'm going to use a little bit more of shampoo on the bottom part of my head and repeat what I did on the top part of my head. And of course, rinse the shampoo out and again, I'm using my fingertips, not my nails to take out the shampoo. Going in with the conditioner now, I'm going to use twice the amount of product compared to the shampoo because my hair is so dry and what I did was that I put it on the ends of my hair mainly and kind of just massage the conditioner into my hair and what I did was I left it on for about two to three minutes and bit by bit I slowly rinsed out the conditioner. I did this so the conditioner can still nourish my hair whilst I'm rinsing it off if that makes any sense. I'm back in my booty room. <laughs> I said booty. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. So I am back from my shower now. So what I did was as soon as I came out of the shower, I rinsed my hair out and then I went ahead and got my towel and I kind of just like just pat it, squeeze all the hair, squeeze all the hair, squeeze all the water out of the hair. You don't want to rub it like this because you're going to create a lot of friction into the hair and it's going to create damage so you want to try your best and avoid to do that what? so you want to try your best and avoid doing that oh my god what's going on with me just keep rinsing all the wetness out of the hair so you just want to continue to pat dry the hair and then what i like to do is i like to wait about 10 15 minutes before i blow dry my hair i don't like to blow dry my hair straight away after i come out the shower because it's so wet so what i like to do is leave it for about 10 15 minutes i'm just going to go ahead and apply the l'oreal l vibe extraordinary oil multi-use nourishing balm i like to use this out of all of the products this is like my most favorite product that's because it's like a free in one so you can use this as a mask, you can use this as a conditioner, but it's really intense if you are going to use this as a conditioner. So if you suffer from extremely, extremely dry hair, I would say definitely check this out because it's going to hydrate the hair, but it's not going to weigh the hair down. It's not going to make your hair feel greasy either. And a little goes a long way as well. You can also use this to like defrizz the hair as well. So sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I have like hella baby hair, just like pew. So what I like to do is that I like to use a little bit of this and like put it in my fingertips and like kind of just like put it down like this. So instead of using gel or hairspray, if you want to use something a bit more light and a bit more nourishing and conditioning, I'd say definitely go ahead, take a little bit of that and just put it into the baby hairs and you're good to go. Even though I've got nothing in my hand right now, but yeah, that's what I usually do when my hair is dry and I got like baby hairs all over the place. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the tiniest amount, so I like to use this much, literally. Spread it all over my hands and just go ahead. You want to apply a majority of it onto the ends. Cool. Because my hair is so long, that's like just one side of my hair done and already it's soaked up all the products. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat on to the other side. Cool, so now that it's on, I'm just going to wait about 10-15 minutes and then I will be right back and blow dry my hair. One eternity later. So it's been about 15 minutes now. I believe it's actually been a bit longer than 15 minutes because I got carried away watching YouTube videos, but now I am back. And my hair is about 70% dry, so it's ready to be fully dry using the hair dryer. <laughs> so before I blow dry my hair, I'm just going to go ahead and just brush through my hair because I haven't brushed through it since I've come out of the shower. Before I blow dry my hair, I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit more of this balm only because I really like to add in as much protection as I can to my hair because I don't want it to get damaged. 
I'm a bit weird like that. And it's not going to make my hair really greasy or heavy or feel really that yucky. It's gonna still feel really nice and nourish and clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. I like to blow dry my hair on the cool settings and this is just an average standard hair dryer. I believe this is like 15 pounds and this is like Boots owned hair dryer. So I'm just gonna use that. <laughs> So my hair is pretty much dry now, I'm just going to go ahead and brush through it. The longer your hair gets, the more tangled it will be, especially after blow drying as well. So make sure you get yourself a really good hairbrush. So I'm using the Tangle Teaser because it's one of the best hairbrushes I've ever tried. Oh god, I don't know why I'm not wobbling. So my hair is about 95% dry. I don't like to blow dry my hair completely dry i like it to be a little bit damp and then the air will just like naturally dry it out because i don't like putting too much heat on my hair that is how i like to protect it i'm now gonna go in with this baby this is the extraordinary oil and i'm just gonna use two pumps and literally that is enough for the whole entire head you can also use this before shampooing as well so you can use it as like an intense mask if you want to or if you have really really dry hair you can always go ahead and put these two together so put this mask on first and then put this on top of it and leave it in for about 10-15 minutes and then go ahead and wash your hair and your hair should be extremely silky soft and another thing I like to do is that with the leftover oil on my hand I like to just press it down on the top part of my hair and that is it guys this is my hair and that is the end of the tutorial guys thank you so much for sitting through this video and for watching this as well don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and comment down below as well because you'll be doing me a huge favor <laughs> i love you guys bye uh, let me start again LV weightless nourishment. Oh, that's such a long word to say. <laughs> okay. After you. So before I blow dry my hair, I'm just gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why do I feel out of breath? Anyway, cool. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <laughs>